Kirovograd does not exist anymore. Ukrainian Parliament of Verkhovna Rada renamed the city in the central part of Ukraine in view of decommunization process. 230 voters and once Yelisavetgrad and former Kirovograd gets a new name – Kropivnitsky. Marko Kropivnitsky was a famous Ukrainian writer and playwright, known as a co-founder of Ukrainian professional theater. On having heard the news about renaming, the local residents react differently. We were born in Kirovograd. I would prefer that our children could also live in Kirovograd. What has to be changed with the renaming? That's super. Wonderful. We are very delighted about it. The authorities could not manage to rename the city the whole previous year. The name of Ingulsk, in honor of the local river, became a real sticking point. Sometimes the opponents even fought with each other, trying to persuade in their own version. Having failed to do it themselves, the local authorities sent the request to Ukraine's parliament of Verkhovna Rada, with seven various names listed. Now, though, the deputies are disappointed, threatening they will appeal against the MPs to the court. The lawyers in turn say it is hardly possible, since the new names are already written in the Constitution. Altering the text of the main law is a long and complicated procedure. Kirovograd was the last city to be renamed in view of decommunization process. The law on eliminating the communist heritage on the whole territory of Ukraine was adopted in May 2015. Decommunization encompasses a whole range of cities, regions, districts and even street names, along with dismantling the monuments symbolizing the Soviet past. Among the biggest cities renamed in Ukraine is Dnipro, previously called Dnipropetrovsk. The city of Kamensk in the same region before being renamed was Dnipro-Dzerzhinsk. Komsomolsk in Poltava region has turned into Horishni Plavni. Ilichovsk in southern region of Odessa is now Chornomorsk.